I'll be reading Empower Orphans by Neha Gupta. Imagine a life of having to face the world alone, without a mother or father. What if you did not have a quite adequate money to support yourself, leaving you to beg or steal food and search for shel shel shelters? Unimaginable, isn't it? We go through our lives in search of the finest things, while we blatantly overlook the stigmas faced by those less fortunate. How then is our world supposed to balance? There is no way unless we notice this problem and take action. This realization struck me early in life. Not only did I feel empathetic, but I took a stand, forming a nonprofit organization called Empowered Orphans, where we strive to improve the lives of orphaned and unprivileged children globally. Today at age 17, my life has transformed into a world centered on of helping thousands of children. This has taught me vulnerable lessons about myself, human nature, and the need for change. To date, my organization has donated more than $1 million and positively impacted the lives of more than 25,000 orphaned and disadvantaged children. In the area of education, we have sponsored the education of 100 children established five libraries with 15 5,000 books, set up four computer labs, started a science center, and created a sewing center in India with 60 sewing machines at an unprivileged school. This center enables young women and girls to learn a skill, their ability to earn a living and stand on their own two feet. In the area of healthcare, Empower Orphans can vie on an eye and dental clinic which benefited more than 360 unprivileged children in India. Sponsored polio surgeries, surgeons for children, donated 100 van loads of home goods to unprivileged children and their families in Pennsylvania, and provided diapers to more than 5,000 children in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. We also installed a water well and a water purification system to provide clean drinking water and donated toys food, clothes, books, shoes, and bicycles to thousands of children. In the future, I intend to widen my circle of influence in India. I plan on establishing additional library books and computer labs at unprivileged schools, and to double the number of children whose education we sponsor. Efforts to help critically at-risk girls earn a living well also continue through the expansion of the sewing center and by increasing the number of machines that are donated to participants. In the United States, I will continue to provide van loads of home furnishing to unprivileged children in my local community and start additional libraries and computer labs in Philadelphia area. A number of corporate sponsors have already signed up to assist in these efforts. One of my fondest mo memories was being able to personally view the difference I made in someone's life. When I went to India a couple of summers ago, one of the girls whom we have given a sewing machine through the sewing center invited me to her home. Her house was a single room shared among five people. She informed me with great pride and gratitude that her earnings as a seamstress allowed the family to attain electricity for their house for the very first time. Their basic amenity allowed her to work at night. It also enabled her brother to study and pass an electric electrician's qualifying exam. Both of their efforts added to the family finances, knowing that I had been able to make a vast difference in someone's life, gave me tremem tremendous satisfaction. From my experience with Empower Orphans, I have not only learned several useful lessons and skills, but I've become all more aware of all the need for humans to step up and change the world. Each and every person in this world has the power to change society, and we all need to put this power to use to fight against the problems faced by our world. Thanks for watching.